Forests in Rwanda cover about 30.4% of total country land, contributing around 5% of the GDP and providing 95% of biomass for households' cooking energy needs. Since 2008, the Kingdom of Belgium has been supporting the forestry sector with over 13,000 hectares of degraded lands restored through afforestation and agroforestry. Belgian uh, bilateral cooperation is active in uh, the agroforestry sector since 2008. And we had the first period from 2008 and 2016 where we were mainly working on public forests, but at the same time we were also working on uh, supporting the, min the Rwandan authorities in updating the national forestry inventory. In fact, one of the main conclusions from this national forestry inventory was that uh, while we were focusing public, public forests, in fact, the majority of forests in Rwanda are private whole held forests. 70% of the forests, the one on the forests, are the private owned forests. The bigger part of them are scattered around into what we call woodlots. The FMBE project was initiated mainly to respond to the huge gap between the demand and the supply of biomass here in Rwanda. A new approach of private forest management units was launched and consists in grouping 50 to 100 small parcels into consolidated blocks of 50 to 100 hectares as sizable commercial or business units. The degraded forests are replaced by young ones with higher productivity potential to be managed through the legally registered cooperative of aggregated landowners with a strict management and business plan. <laughs> In total, about 900 hectares of degraded smallholder forest lands were restored and 19 cooperatives established so far. Twajyaga dusarura umwe gasaruro duti duke yunda gasaruro duke ariko kubera ko tuzaba turi hamwe twibumbiye hamwe. Imbere yacu turaba dukira igiti faranga. These grouped farmers now when they are grouped together, they are consolidating their forests. They have got a bigger bargaining power in front of private operators aya mashamba rero yatewe agiye kongera kurinda ubutaka gutemba bityo abaturage bashobore kubonamo umusaruro on the level of impact the income of the owners is expected to triple in 20 years to come and the ecosystem services of these forests are restored and sustainably maintained, including carbon sequestration, which is increased by more than six times on the 20 years basis compared to the business as usual scenario. The PFMU approach became part and parcel of Ministry of Environment Strategy. We started by upscaling uh, this approach. We will continue to advocate for it. That was even the target of the of the government institution in charge of forestry. The plan is to scale up from uh, where it's being implemented to another part of the country where forests are being planted. And NEBO is supporting the ministry in mobilizing further resources to roll out the approach with potentially GCF funding.